Good morning. Good morning, Volker. Good morning, Connecticut. Good day, Cape Town. North Carolina, Australia. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning, Prophet Jamila. Blessings. Good morning. We're going to get started shortly. If you would share this broadcast with your friends and your followers. Good morning, Anthony. We're going to get started shortly. South Africa. Hello, New York. Welcome. Good morning, Dion. Blessings. Blessings. Started in a minute. I am rebooting the Periscope broadcast. We've got some sound issues apparently. Good morning, Prophet Deb. Periscope a chance to get back on and hopefully that's worked out with the mic. Blessings and happy Friday. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning, Kentucky. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Vermont. Hallelujah. All right, Prophet Deb. North Carolina. Happy Friday. Welcome to Mornings with the Holy Spirit. This is Christine. I will be filling in today for Apostle Jennifer LeClaire. Um, this is our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God by author Jennifer LeClaire, senior leader of Awakening House of Prayer in Davie, Florida, your place for training and equipping. We welcome you this morning. We bless you this morning. We thank you, Lord. Today, Father God, we're just thankful for this morning. So we're going to start our devotional for February 8th this morning. Speak and think about my words. You can pray without speaking, and you can see without opening your eyes. But when you move in the realm of the unspoken and the unseen, you may encounter false voices and false visions from the enemy that aim to skew your perspective. Be cautious not to speak about the enemy's plan over your life because the power of life and death are in the tongue. Be careful not to meditate on the vain imaginations he gives you. They move you away from the truth of my heart and into deception. Speak and think about my words. And our scripture references for today are 1 John 4 verse 1, Proverbs 18 verse 21, and 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5. And our prayer starter for today is set a guard over my eyes, my ears, and my mouth. Give me the diligence to guard my heart because out of it flow the issues of life. Help me to recognize the vain imaginations and false voices that seek to betray your truth, Lord. 
Help me to take every thought captive that is not of you. In Jesus' name, we praise you, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for your truth. We thank you for your presence this morning, O oh God. We thank you for the glory, Father God, that you have bestowed upon us and your children, Father, for those who love you and that are called according to your name. We welcome your presence this morning, Holy Spirit. We welcome your presence this morning, God. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your word, O oh God. We break, Father God, every assignment against this prayer call this morning. I I take authority over every distracting spirit, over every work of darkness that would try to skew the broadcast this morning and keep us from getting a full victory together. I take authority over every word that's spoken against this broadcast and every resistance right now in Jesus name and I bind it. Lord, we welcome your presence, Jesus. We exalt you, Lord. We lift up your name on high this morning. We say hallelujah and glory to your holy name, O God. We thank you that we have all power and authority in the name of Jesus Christ and that no weapon formed against us this morning will prosper, God. Lord, we set our hearts and our spirits at attention this morning to hear your word, to hear your voice, and to declare your truth, O God. We come into agreement, Father, as the body of Christ this morning standing in the gap for others and standing in the gap for this word today God that it would become revelation and truth to us today oh God and we exalt you we make you first Jesus we thank you Lord God that no weapon formed against us this morning will prosper so Lord we ask that you would have your way today Lord we lift you up Jesus we praise you Lord God we thank you for the blood of Jesus that covers this call that covers each and every one of us that covers our mind that covers our will that covers our emotions. Lord, there is no substitute for the blood of Jesus. So we take claim to the blood today, Lord. We thank you for the blood today, Jesus. And we invoke it over ourselves today, our mind, our will, and our emotions, oh God. And we praise you, Lord God, for no weapon formed against us today will prosper. Lord, we thank you for your word and your truth, oh God. Help us, Father, to walk in it, Lord. Help us, Lord, to be those of the mindset, Father God, that seek you first. First, Father, that seek your kingdom first, Father God, so that every good and perfect gift can follow after, that you can add those things that we need after. We surrender to you today. We surrender to you today, Jesus. And we say, Father God, we take authority over our own spirits and over our own souls. And we command our souls to get into subjection to our born again spirits in Jesus name. And Lord, I thank you, Father, Lord, that we are going to be of those, Father God, that set our hearts and our minds on the kingdom first on your word first Lord we declare that we will meditate on your word first Lord God day and night and night and day like it says like the Lord told Joshua to do that those words would be in our heart that they be written on our hearts Father God Lord that your word Father God would be the light Father that would guide our way that we would have a revelation Father God of, of your word and the power that it carries to bring us forth into all the victories you've already planned so, Father, we thank you today. Father, we sever every, every cord of deception that may have come over our thought realm, that may have come over our minds or our hearts, God, that's come to soil us, God. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would begin to illuminate those places by the light of Christ, even right now, that you begin to open up our understanding and illuminate what you're doing in us, O oh God, that you would illuminate your word to us, O oh God. Father, you said, Lord, that your word, Father, was sharper than any two-edged sword and that it was able to cut between the soul and the spirit that it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of our heart that it helps us to divide the spirit from the soul God so father I ask God that you would begin to illuminate your word to us in a greater way that we would have a spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of your word and of your will O oh God father we surrender our will over to you God and we say God let there be a stirring on the inside of our spirits today O oh God let our spirit men and women be stirred up with what you're stirred up with oh god let the word of god that's on the inside of us already begin to be bubbling up lord and stirred father god to the point where we would just release your word that every time a problem comes god we release the word of god that every time there's something that comes up in our minds that we are readily aware to cast down every vain imagination father help us to recognize those things lord 
Help us to recognize those areas today, God. Lord, if there's any deception in our minds, Father God, and in our hearts, oh God, Father, we ask God that you would cut it away today, Lord, that you would give us the wisdom and give show it to us, Holy Spirit, that we'd be able to cast it down, that we would be ready to repent for taking, uh, taking it into our spirits and, and cast it down today. Lord, forgive us, Father, for those areas where we may have opened ourselves up, that un even unawares, God, and that you would lift off any any deception off of our mind today, God, and off of our hearts today, Lord. We give you praise, God, because you are all powerful, because you are good, because you've given us a roadmap in your word, because you've given us your word to speak, God. So, Father, when those things rise, Father God, to try and tempt us to speak negative, to speak against the will of God, to speak against your word, Father, help us, Holy Spirit, set a, a watch on our mouth, Father God, that the only thing that we would be able to be release is your word and your blessing, God, your truth, oh God. Help us to meet every challenge with your word and with your truth by your spirit today, God. I pray you do a stirring, oh God. Let the wells on the inside of us become so deep, Father God, so hungry for your word, so hungry for your truth, Father God, that we not be taken to the left or taken to the right, God, that we walk on the straight and the narrow path, oh God. I thank you for the blood, Lord, today. I thank you for the power of your word and the word of God will run swiftly and the word of God will accomplish all that it's set to accomplish. So Lord, we declare and decree, we're gonna be of those, Father God, that meditate on your word day and night. Lord, that even if our Bible isn't in front of us, God, let the Holy Spirit bring back those words to our remembrance. Lord, that we would declare them even in our sleep, oh God. That we would think on them. That we would think on the author and the finisher of our faith. That we would think on those things that are good and lovely, Father, of a good report, oh God. That those would be the things that we would run to God. You are our strong tower, Jesus. You alone, God, are our refuge and our strength, God. So we run to you today, God. And I ask, God, that you would take off the scales of deception off of any of our minds and hearts. Remove them, oh God, and replace them with your word. If there's any area, God, that is not glistening with hope on the inside of us, God, I pray you'd bring your sword of the word and cut it away and replace, us, replace it with what you say. Father, that your spirit would begin to illuminate our hearts today, illuminate our minds, give us the understanding and the revelation, Father God, to walk forward. Lord, we praise you and we thank you, Lord God. We put watches on our heart. Lord, you said to guard our hearts for out of it flow the issues of life, O oh God. So we put a guard on our heart, the guard of the word of God, the guard of the spirit of God, Lord, that we would uh, have understanding, Lord, Lord, wisdom beyond our years, O oh God, and that we would be so careful to discern between the good and the not so good, between the spirit and the soul, God. Give us the wisdom, give us the revelation, Father God, so that we would not err and that we would not fall into deception in the hour that we're living in God. Would you help us today, Jesus? Would you open our eyes today, God, so we can see what you see, God? Would you open our hearts, God, and give us a fresh understanding, Lord, that the rivers of living water from your word would begin to bubble forth in us, God? Give us the understanding, God. Father, we just say, Lord, that we are willing. We, we come as folks that want to be diligent to study your word, diligent to declare your heart, diligent to go after the understanding of the kingdom of God. Diligence, Lord. I just pray for diligence, God, for all of us, God, for a fresh wave of diligence, God, to come over us, that we would be vigilant, God, to keep your word before our eyes, oh God, and to meditate on it till it becomes a part of us, Lord. Lord, we want your will and we want your way. The folks, we would not be on this broadcast this morning, Father God, if we were not hungry for your presence, if we were not hungry for your truth, oh God, if we were not hungry to be delivered of everything that's false in our life or in, around us, oh God. Father, strengthen us, Lord, this morning. Would you strengthen us this morning, Lord, and with might in our inner man and woman, oh God. And that every veil of deceit would fall off to the ground today, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Every lie fall to the ground right now in Jesus' name. Every deception off of our minds right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, fill 
Fill those places with truth. Fill those places with your word. Fill those places with what you say, Lord, not what we think, but what you say. Not what we think, Lord, but what you say. What you say is the most important thing, Father God. For man shall not live by bread alone, but we shall live by every word, Lord, that proceeds out of the mouth and the heart of God. We shall live by your progressive word, the progressive revelation of the word of God. So we throw off the old cloak. We throw off the old deceptions. We throw off the lies of the enemy this morning. And we take up our sword to this morning. We take up the word of God. And we cloak ourselves in the word of God. We cover ourselves in the holy word of God. We strengthen ourselves with your word and with your blood, O God. Trusting that your word is truth. Trusting that your word does not lie. Trusting, Lord, that not one word that you've spoken will fall to the ground unanswered, O God. So we take up our sword this morning. We are not those wimpy little people that are just running around looking for a place to be. We're, we're those people. We are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And we lift up and we put on our whole armor today. We put on everything. We put on this helmet of salvation. We put up, the, we lift the sword of the spirit. We gird our loins with the belt of truth. We shot our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And we take up our shield that quenches every fiery dart that the enemy tries to throw at us. I declare and decree that we will not be a deceived people, that we will not fall prey to the systems of this world, and that we will not fall prey to what the enemy is trying to throw at us, that we will be discerning, that we will be wise as serpents and gentle as doves, that we would have an answer for those that are around us. Lord, I thank you for that, God, for it's only by your spirit that we can do this, God, so we do surrender. Lord, we praise you today. We praise you today. We say we're not going to walk as victims in this nation, but we walk as ambassadors of the kingdom of God, ambassadors for Christ in Jesus name. In Jesus name, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we will be those diligent to watch after your word, to watch over it. Lord, you watch over it to perform it. But we declare that we will be diligent to pursue it, Lord God, to make it part of us, Lord God, for it's the living word of God. Jesus is the word. He is the living word of God. So, Lord, I thank you, Father, for what you're doing. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that you're faithful God. Lord, I pray that you would train us. The word of God says that he trains us. He trains our senses to discern good and evil. So, Lord, I thank you that you would increase a level of discernment in all of us, God. I pray, God, that you would increase our wisdom and our understanding, oh God, of what you're saying and doing. And, Father God, that we would recognize immediately, Father, when a ploy of the enemy tries to come in, oh God, that immediately our spirits would kick up, that we would have such razor-sharp accuracy and discernment, not as witch hunters, but, Lord, as those that want to honor your word and to walk in it rightly, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, that you're increasing, teaching us. Holy Spirit, you're so good. I thank you that you're teaching us to discern, to, to train our senses, senses to discern both good and evil. We are training our senses. We're training our hearing. We're training every part of our being to hear your word, Father God, and to walk in it and to accurately discern what you're doing. Father, I thank you for an increase in those gifts, Father God. Lord, I pray for an activation for those whose discernment has not really been activated, maybe new believers on this call. And I just thank you, Lord, that you are just touching them, that you're pushing them on, Father God, that you're opening their eyes and their spirits, God, that you're giving them the understanding, Father God, to walk in your truth, God. So I pray for discernment, razor sharp discernment, so that we'd not be deceived. There's a lot on social media. We have to be careful what we put in front of our eyes. We have to be careful not to step in and walk in the strife that the enemy is trying to tempt us and bait us into. Not every post you have to answer and debate over. Let us be those that are not coming to debate God, but let us be those bringing forth the word of the Lord at the right time in the right season. Give us the wisdom, Father God, not to be baited into the plan of the enemy so that our minds are consumed with garbage, Lord. Help us to put the garbage out today. Day and only take in what's healthy and good for us, God. Help us to participate in healthy dialogue on social media, God, because there's a there's a spirit, the spirit of the systems of the world that would try to bait us into bring, bringing strife and division. And so, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that we would even have the wisdom on even what posts we're to get involved in. I thank you that we would have the wisdom and the discernment and the right words for the right 
season, Father God, so that we would know how to give an answer for our faith, so that it wouldn't be where we get caught up in a web of, of arguments and divisions and wasteful babbling, things that are just not profitable for the body, or that are not profitable for unbelievers, and that are not profitable for us, God. Give us that discernment, God. Give us that discernment. I just declare and decree we will not be deceived by even any bait the enemy pulls it, puts out for us to get involved in things that would bring division or strife in our midst. I br just break that assignment. It is a strong assignment right now from the enemy to try and draw God's people off and get them distracted. Lord, I declare and decree those distractions will not affect us. Lord, we are not going to be like the houses that have been built on sand, but we're going to be houses, strong, firm, foundational houses that have a good foundation. Lord, that when the winds and the storms and the chaos of the world start to take place, God, we are going to be firm in you, Lord God, unshaken and unmoved by all that's around us, God. I just pray praise you for that, Lord. I praise you because you're the one that's doing it in us, Father. We just praise you, Lord God, that you're the one that's burning it in our heart, God. I thank you, God, that you're doing it for us, that you're doing it in us, God. I thank you, Lord, that the people of God, Father God, are going forward as a mighty army. army. While it may look differently on the outside to others, God, I thank you, Lord, that you are taking this season of time to strengthen your bride, to strengthen your body, to build her up, and to prepare her for all that you have for her, God. So we bless, we bless, we bless you today, God. We bless you, Jesus. We declare, God, we will meditate day and night, God. Lord, that we will know the depths and the understanding of your love, God, for us and for a fallen world, Lord God. We declare it. We declare, God, that we will walk in truth and in your light, Jesus. And Lord, that we will not hide our light under the, under the basket, God, but we would go out with it, Lord, so that once you bring that forth, Father, we will not shrink back. We will not be intimidated with the, by what the enemy throws at us, God, but that we will stand strong and firmly and at peace in the midst of all, Father. In Jesus' name, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, God. We praise you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that we are a people who know our God and we shall do, stand strong and we will do great exploits. Lord, I thank you that we are a people that know you and we shall stand strong and do great exploits, Father God. We shall not shrink back. We shall not be caught we shall not be trapped by the plan of the enemy. Father, I declare and decree that we walk free of those things in Jesus' name. Lord, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. God, you're so faithful and you're so good. You're a loving Father. Holy Spirit, you're the best teacher that we could ever even ask for. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We thank you for Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the great salvation that you've purchased for us and that you allow us to walk and to co-labor with Christ. We're so thankful, God, that you choose us, Lord God, that you chose us, Father God, that you loved us first, God. We thank you for that, Jesus. We thank you for that, Lord. We love you and we give you praise. We love you and we give you praise. We give you praise today, Jesus. Oh, all the honor and glory belongs to you, Father. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus, that we shall be carriers of your presence, carrier of your truth and carriers of your kingdom, God, and that we will be catalysts in the earth, Father God, to make a deposit that will last even past our lifespan, Father God, that will carry on to the next generations, God, that will carry on to the next ones, Father. So, Lord, we do. We take up our watch. We take up our post, Father God. We declare and decree, Father, you're faithful, you're good, God, and your kingdom shall come and your will shall be done in us and through us. In Jesus' name. And Father, I just ask, Lord, that you would even teach us, Lord, teach us how to become accurate in the realm of the spirit. Teach us, Father, even when we're praying and we're aiming our intercessions, Father God, I ask that there be a, a zeal and a prophetic deposit, Father God, that we would have accuracy and be like sharpshooters in the spirit when we pray, Father God. Lord, that you would open our eyes that we would see the target and you would give us the right words and the right scriptures to pray and to declare, Father God, so that once and for all, Father God, we would not wander around in the realm of intercession, but we would hit the target head on, that we would join together 
together and hit the target head on. Lord, like Nehemiah, that we'd be on the wall and, wall and keep building, that with one arm we just keep working, 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 God, but we'd hit it with accuracy. I pray for accuracy, accuracy in our prayers, accuracy in our intercession, accuracy, accuracy, Father, in our prophecies and our words, Father God, in words of knowledge and words of wisdom, God. I just thank you for that, God, that we shall be those that walk with an excellent spirit like Daniel did, that people would look to us and say, wow, who is your God? What does he have to say? That we would have the interpretations, that we would have the answers and the solutions to some of the issues that are surrounding us right now, that we will become the answer on the earth instead of the people that are turned to and said that we're just problems. Those are lies. We're going to walk with accuracy. We're going to walk with wisdom. We're going to be the problem solvers for the kingdom of God on the earth in Jesus' name. We are going to be the ones that are helping to establish and to help disciple nations. Lord, let it be that you prepare your body and your bride to such a point, Father God, where nations and governments will begin to turn to the body of Christ for the answer, that they will know that there's a remnant in the earth that has the answer, that we become the problem solvers, that we become the solution, God, that we would be the ones that would have the answer. So God, I ask God that you would favor us and that we would have excellent spirits. Lord, that you're building us up as a house, as a holy nation of priests and kings, God, to walk throughout the earth, to have the answers, to have that answer to that problem in Jesus' name. I thank you we would walk with accuracy, God. Teach us, Holy Spirit. My thank you, Lord God, that you're already working in us, God, but build us together, Lord, as that body of believers, God, so that when we go out, we go out with power and strength together, God. We go out with power and strength together, Lord, that we knit our hearts together, one with each other and one with you. And I thank you, Lord God. I thank you for those that have gone before us today and, and, and have led the way and have pioneered areas Father, that we're to walk into, Father. I thank you for them, Father God, and I pray that you, be, you would continue to raise up those pioneers in the body of Christ, those ones with a breaker anointing, those ones, Father God, that have been called to go into the areas of government education, the business world, the marketplace, God, those places, Father God, where the barriers need to be broken down, and I pray you're providing them with strength, and I thank you that you're providing them with intercessors, the battle axes that will go out to break the way open, and for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we give you praise for it today, God. We say, Lord, let it be done in our time. We say, let it be done in our time, O God. Oh, we praise you, Lord God. We praise you, Jesus. Oh, shakabalalalaha. Thank you. Strength is coming to the body of everybody on this call today. That supernatural strength of the might of on the in, on our inner men and women. It's coming today. That revelation of your word is going to increase, God. I just declare it. The revelatory word, the word of God, Lord, multiplied, multiplied in our spirits and our hearts, God, that it would be so strong it would overtake any plan of the enemy. In Jesus' name, Hashem Komayese, we praise you, Lord God. We praise you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Lord, we exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Lord God. You are almighty and all holy, God. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you're the great counselor, that you're the comforter. Lord, that you're the one that teaches us. We submit and surrender to you today fully, Lord. We thank you for your word. Hallelujah. That it brings forth life. I pray that every person on this call and that listens, that they would bubble forth from the inside of their beings. You said, Father God, let it be like river, live rivers of living water flowing in and out of us, oh God. I pray it would bubble up, Lord God, that we would not even be able to contain the hope that we have. Let it bubble up. I speak to everyone's spirit to be strengthened. Lord, that it would bubble up, that your word would bubble up today, God. You are our hope, Jesus. You are our hope. We run to you. You are a strong tower. You are our refuge in times of trouble. You are the glory and the lifter of our heads. There's not one thing we can't do with you. We can do it all with you, Jesus. We can go forward, Lord God. We can do all things through you who strengthens us, oh God. We praise you for it and we're thankful, Father. We're thankful, Jesus. We're thankful, God. We're thankful, Lord. Hallelujah. Yashikubotarahase. 
We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, let the rivers flow. Let the rivers of living water flow out of your children today. Let the rivers of living water flow out. I declare no well will be clogged up or stopped up in Jesus' name, that we would have a free flow of the Holy Spirit coming in and out of us in Jesus' name, that the word of God would bubble up. And we speak to those clogged wells to be open today, open in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Shekamalalaha. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. God, you're so good. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Ha, you are our hope, Jesus. We have much to be thankful for, Lord. We're so thankful. We're so thankful. We're so thankful, God. Hallelujah. Halamahashe. Ha, our words will be seasoned with salt today. Our words will be seasoned with grace today. Our words will be seasoned with love today. Our words will be seasoned with mercy today. Our words will be seasoned with hope in the promises of God. We praise you, Lord. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Hakara Mahashe could stay there for a little while longer for sure. Shekhalalala Bahase Kere Biando. We bless you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Hungry hearts. So many hungry hearts today on the broadcast. So many hungry hearts. And those that hunger and thirst for righteousness, the promise is that you will be filled today. So praise God. Amen. Amen. We love you guys. Uh, Apostle Jennifer sends her love and she sends her greetings and her prayers to you as always. She's traveling right now, preparing to get on a plane to Singapore. Uh, she sends her love to you. She sends her blessings to you that she'll be getting on that plane and heading over to do some ministry for the next several days. So we ask that you would continue to lift her up. Um, we know that many of you so in prayer for her, and she's so grateful for that. So we want to continue to lift that up. We want to give you an opportunity to sow. So many of you have been sowing into the missions, and we're so thankful for that. So we want to thank you for that and give you an opportunity. If your heart is to go to nations yourself, you may want to sow into this. You may want to sow into that boots on the ground in these nations where training and equipment can go forth. So we want to give you an opportunity. If you would like to give today to the missions, uh, you can go to paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Of course, you can use the cash app. Uh, at dollar sign, Jennifer LeClaire. You can also text the word PRAY, P-R-A-Y, to 754-701-2161. And if you would like, you can go online to Jennifer LeClaire, L-E-C-L-A-I-R-E, dot org slash give and there'll be a, a donate a give and you can choose to give to missions or to whatever your heart is connected to do to do we want to keep these broadcasts going many many uh, many people around the world are blessed by them it's helping to grow and equip them and strengthen them so we're thankful for your support and that you can also mail a check or money order or just an encouragement card uh, to p.o box 30563 Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. That's P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. So, Father, we just want to thank you for all those that are giving today. We want to thank you, Lord God, that you are the God of the increase, Father God. And, Lord, that as we sow, we shall reap, O oh God. So I pray for a multiplied blessing on the people of God, on the people at Awakening House of Prayer, of all the Awakening Blaze uh, prayer groups, Father God, of the people in the Ignite Network. We want to bless them. We bless, bless the staff and the leadership at Awakening House of Prayer, Father God. Uh, we bless Jennifer LeClaire Ministries, and we thank you for the the missions and the people of God on this broadcast. Lord, that you touch their hearts today, that you bring provision in, abundant provision, so that they have more than enough for every good work, God. We declare it, we decree it today, we seal it with the blood of Jesus Christ, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you for it, Lord. Ha! Huh? We thank you, Lord, that when we cast our bread on the waters, Father, it comes back to us multiplied. We're praising you for that, God. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you guys. We love you, God. 
guys. We're blessing you guys. We bless you. Um, there's a lot going on. Hey, those of you who are hungry to go to Israel, now is the time. I encourage you. In 2020, Jennifer is going to be taking a, a group of people over to Israel. You will go to all the major sites, but you also pray and intercede and declare the word of the Lord. It's going to be an exciting trip. If you're interested at all, check it out at tinyurl.com slash Israel with Jennifer. It is going to be an awesome trip. You definitely, if you've ever wanted to go, this is probably one you will really enjoy. Um, I encourage you to check that out. Also, you want to check out the events at, uh, uh, that we're having at Awakening House of Prayer at our Davy campus this weekend. We've got a lot going on. Tomorrow night, we're having a training and a, a service for pro the ethics in prophecy, ethics in the prophetic. I will, I, you would really love to come there. If you cannot join us in person, I encourage you to get in touch and try to watch it online. You can check those event, events out at Eventbrite dot jennifer leclaire dot com of course, we have our Awakening House of Prayer. If you are not connected to a house, we encourage you to, to try and join us online at ahop.online. It's free. Uh, you can register there and you'll have access to join the services from your homes. Uh, we encourage you to get involved with that. Next week, next Saturday, we're going to be, uh, next Friday night actually, at Awakening House of Prayer Campus in Davie. Um, Lou Engel from The Send is going to be coming and leading us in a prayer round rally to help prepare for the big outreach that's happening up in Orlando in a couple of weeks. We would love you to come out. You can sign up for that also at Eventbrite. And then next Saturday, uh, we have Apostle Stidham is going to become doing a, a healing miracle and deliverance service. So if you have those that are sick and in need of healing or a touch from God, we encourage you to come out. If you can't, you are welcome to watch online also at Eventbrite. Uh, again, we just love you guys. There's much going on. Check Check out schoolofthespirit.tv for all your training and equipping needs. I know that the Seer School is taking on the second year. There's some exciting things going on there. People are growing in their gifts. And if you want to be part of a network that uh, is a training ground and a place for you to apply everything that you're learning uh, and be a part of a group of a pure prophetic movement, you want to get involved with the Ignite Network. Um, we have a Facebook group and uh, Apostle usually does some teachings that she will post uh, to grow in your gifting and to practice your gifting. So you can do that at ignitenow.org. We just want to encourage you today to get involved with what blesses you. You guys are hungry and you're thirsty and you guys are you're powerful people in prayer. So we encourage you today. We bless you. Uh, Apostle Jennifer will be back back soon on the broadcast. I want to thank you today for joining and agreeing. And Father, we just send a blessing to all those that are on right now that their day would be blessed, that you would go before them, be their front and their rear guard today, and release your joy in their day today, Father, in Jesus' name. We love you guys. We love, yes, Ahapa, thank you, Prophet Deb. You guys are fast typers, praise God. Praise God, yes, we're believing with you. We're believing with you for an increase in your finances, for every good work, every good work, Lord. So we're gonna put the worship back on for a little while. We pray that your day is blessed and that your weekend is blessed. Have a, an awesome day today. Be blessed today in Jesus' name. You make my heart be still Calm and quiet my soul You make my heart be still Amen, double fire You make yeah. my heart Hallelujah. be still Hallelujah
Yes, Joy, that's Lord of Hosts, Misty Edwards. You make my heart be still. 